Good job on helping me review Vampire the Masquerade. I realize now that I forgot a few things, but it's Wednesday. Thank you, David. Honestly, that was actually kind of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it, but let's talk about Warhammer. This stuff will honestly go over your head, and I know for a fact that the company that made the little plastic U that's in my car will completely ignore what I'm about to say because I only got about 115 subs there. Originally I was planning on this video just being about me complaining about Forge World stuff, but then they decided to up their prices, so I'm gonna talk about that and how to fix such things instead. I want to say something first. I understand why they're bringing up the prices. The economy is in shambles across the first world. The only country not being hit hard right now is Argentina. I could point out a lot of things, but I stopped teaching economics about 10 years ago, more or less. Could go into a huge story about that, but ask me, about that when I stream on Twitch, not here. But I know a few ways that GW could reduce their prices, even with shit hitting the fan. But before talking about that, I need to explain why a bit. So Warhammer Plus app is a good reflection of how GW is doing. With recent stupids, their stock value has dropped like a rock in water. So, because GW is a publicly traded company, they need to figure out how to turn a profit in order to appease their shareholders. So, they may get more shareholders in order to get more money. Now, obviously, this stuff is a lot more complicated than that, but this simple explanation works. When people started canceling their Warhammer Plus subs en masse, they panicked. The best way to bring in money when money runs away is to up the prices of their products. Plastic crack, codices, and such. Of course, we need to point out a few things. The codex are not up to date, and thus neither is the app after the books come out. Making the app and the codices companionship need to be reworked. The model can models can be replaced with a cheap 3D printed and they're more customizable. The app and Warhammer TV doesn't offer enough to make it really worth it to pay the monthly subscription. I like the shows, but there's just not enough. So how do we fix these situations while keeping investors happy? Well, I should admit some things. It'll cost a lot of money. Short costs for spending for long-term profit. Of course, none of my statements can be done all at once. They have to be done very slowly, one by one. If not, the company would go underwater in a single month. But what's the list of ideas in order to fix the company? Well, let's talk about that. First, we need to focus on the models. Lower the prices in order to get more people into the game and get more money spent on the hobby. As John F. Kennedy said, it is paradoxical truth that tax rates are too high and tax revenues are too low. The soundest way to raise the revenues in the long run is to cut the rates now. Cutting taxes now is not to incur a budget deficit, but to achieve more prosperous expanding economy, which can bring in a budget surplus. 
What that means is when you cut the cost of the product, people will be willing to spend more. You'll bring in more, thus leading to more profit. But how do we do that? GW has a program that only applies to the UK, where they'll take old sprues and recycle them. If you're overseas, you can't join in on this, because the shipping costs will outweigh the money saved on the plastic, supposedly. I don't have the shipping costs, so I don't really know. GW has a single factory making models for plastic and resin models. They're currently building a second factory, which will make supply lines better, but won't really do much for the cost, unfortunately. A good way to reduce prices around the world would be to reduce the shipping costs around the world. So, building a single factory on every major sales continent would help a lot. For example, Europe, North America, Asia, and Australia are the biggest sources of income for the company. So, building a factory with them would lower prices a lot for those nations on those continents. Of course, there's also South America and Africa. I know there's sources of income there too, but not near as much. A factory in those two aren't near as profitable, but still possible to have. But supplies for plastic making is still necessary, right? Well, if we expand the Spur recycling program to other nations, which I think will eventually happen, it'll make it easier to get plastic to every continent to use new plastic models. Of course, this program is new, it started in 2023, so they're probably figuring out what they're doing, but the only incentive for the program is quote to help Terra which with this economy I don't think that's enough. I'm old enough to remember when recycling companies would pay you to recycle. Now they don't. But this program if expanded to the world could give coupons with so much weight in plastic. I've got about three to six pounds worth of plastic sprues I keep just in case. These coupons don't need to be massive, maybe 10%. That'll be a nice price reduction. Hell, could make it so the coupons don't stack or allow it so they do so you'll incentivize people to save them. Different options have different benefits, so it really doesn't matter. Now, like I said, this is an expensive option, but it'll ultimately lead to more people being able to get into the hobby. This is the more costly, but also cost-saving option, but it's also the slowest option, so don't expect this for decades at the earliest should they decide to do this. But there's the app too. Most GW's money comes from the plastic and then the books. The app has the indexes, then locks the information until the codex code is used. But the as the custodies codex shows, the books are written long time before the indexes are changed at all. Because of this, the books are nearly worthless. But if I can give a recommendation that might actually lead to a loss of profit, but more people getting into the hobby, the book should be just an art and stories thing. Model parade, short stories, and the standard artwork. Removing the rules section will reduce the pages of the books at, by a very minimal amount. Tao only have four detachments and a very small list of models. Just despite being a good 20 years old as an army. This stuff could be used to place more artwork or stories about the Tau, but the information involving the game itself should be either free on the app or as a bonus with the Warhammer Plus subscription. Both options have benefits, I'd recommend the first though. The last thing we need to do is make Warhammer Plus actually worth paying for. 
This is mostly through the Warhammer TV. How do we go about that? Make original TV shows come out more regularly. Enough. There. Done. And what about getting people, more people into the hobby? Well, remember that rule that GW made that made the creator of text-to-speech afraid to make stuff? Yeah, get rid of that. Stop buying good stuff and making it only available at Warhammer TV. Astartes was a cool show. You can only find the re-uploads on YouTube. Now, the only legal way to find it is on Warhammer TV. Let fans be your free advertisement, GW. Text-to-speech was how I got into Warhammer. That was 10 years ago. I miss that show. Not a whole lot has actually changed, so it'll be fine to restart it if you revoke that stupid rule. So, long story short, more factories across the world make the TV shows worth paying for, and make the codices not require purchases, and let fans be free advertisement. Seriously, I'm fed up with seeing the Tacticus advertisement on YouTube on my phone. Will GW listen to me? No. I'm just a random dude who used to teach economics. What do I know? So, now, shove off.